your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about Hey guys, how's it going Ben here? Welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. Now, I have got a lot of stuff to update you with, one of which is we've now got 75 Slayer. Um, I absolutely grinded that out from 73 to 75, I just had to, I was really happy, and now we've got some really good tasks, and I'm absolutely over the moon. So, I've actually set myself a little target at the moment, and it's only a tiny one, we're going to get it done today, or rather we better do, and it is to do an absolute shit ton of quests, and there is a reason for it. Now, I have got Black Demons as my Slayer task, 226 of them as you can see at the bottom, and uh, I want to get the Enhanced Dark Light in order to kill them, the good one from Dimension of Disaster. I know it's been nerfed, yes guys, I know, but I've been told it's still pretty good and it's probably a lot better than what I'd be using anyway. Not only that, it gets rid of a lot of quests that need doing, so I thought, you know what, let's go for it. So, yes. A lot of changes. First off, yes, I've got a lot of runes, and I'm starting to actually buy runes daily now. Now that I'm getting good Slayer tasks and I'm able to get money uh, a lot easier, I'm going to be doing that a lot more. I've got Vizwax. I got 100 Vizwax today, the first time I've ever done that. So I was pretty hyped about that. Also, a few more Clue Scroll things. Got a Guthix page for... Um, I, did I show you guys? Yeah, of course I showed you guys a Dragon Mask. I also got the uh, Dragon Staff off an Elite, which I was pretty happy about as well. Also, the best thing is a Rune Warhammer. I went and killed Ice Trolls for ages. They're a lot better than the Troll Generals, just because there's a lot more of them and you can kill them a lot quicker. So I went to those instead um, and got that after about 10 minutes or so, so I was pretty happy about that. So, I've got a load of quests. I've got to do Diamond in the Rough. I can't even pronounce that little helper. Shades of Morton, Missing My Mummy, Troll Romance, Curse of Arav, and then Dimension of Disaster. It's going to be a really long one. Now, I didn't put up a video yesterday because I actually streamed for a little bit instead. I thought I'd do that instead because I wasn't going to be getting much done. And uh, it was my little brother's birthday as well. So um, I was at his party all day on bouncy castles and stuff and it was fucking tiring. So what I'm going to do is crack on with each quest. I'm not going to show me doing it, but I'll show you afterwards and hopefully... Maybe by midway through this video, we'll have got a lot of progress done and we'll be able to go on to our Slayer. So, I'm going to crack on with that. Oh, just before I continue, sorted out my herbs, look. So, the way I've done this is what Dave does, and I know a lot of other people do. Tom did this as well when he was playing. Um, you order your herbs as, so you got the grimy ones on top, and then you got the clean ones underneath. you got the unfinished potions underneath those, and then you've got the secondary ingredients underneath those. So that's what I've done so far, and it's a really good setup actually, because it lets you see just how much of each potion you can make. Um, as you can see, I can make a lot of bloody prayer pots and stuff, so I thought I'd just put that in as well. So what I'm going to do is crack on with a few quests, and I'll see you once I've done a few of them. Right guys, I managed to fin finish Diamond in the Rough quest, which means we can now do another quest. Oh my goodness me, quest, and I do really like quests, but once you've done them like a million times, it gets a little bit repetitive, but still, not to worry. We've done that, I'm going to crack on with another one, and I'll see you guys once I've done that. Right guys, I just finished this weird cat quest, it was pretty cool, I liked it actually. So now we've got four more quests to do. Uh, Missing My Mummy is the one I think I'm going to be doing next, if I can do it. I don't know if there's any quest requirements at all, let's just have a little nosy. Um, where the fuck is it? Ben, you idiot. It's somewhere, it's somewhere, it's somewhere it is. Missing My Mummy, there we go. So what else do we need? Um, looks like we've done everything we need, so I'm going to be getting on with that right now, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll be back in one minute. Right, guys, I'm about to finish Missing My Mummy now, which is good. Here we go. I've done it to 100% as well, which is required. So there we go, Missing My Mummy done. I've now got Shades of Morton, Troll Romance, and Curse of Arav to do, and then we can do Dimension of Disaster and get ourselves the Enhanced Dark Light. So I'm going to do that, and I'll get back to you after the next quest. Right, guys, I finally finished this ball eight quest i i like it it's just a pain i don't know it just is so anyway we've got to use this on this dude that's all cool let's go there we go we've saved you and now I, I kind of want a reward there we go we got ourselves a decent reward so now that means we've only got troll romance the curse of arav to do and then we can do dimension of disaster so i'm gonna crack on with that and i'll be back in a little bit with that for you guys Right, guys, I'm about to finish off Troll Stronghold. I'm so happy to have got that done as well. It's it's not too bad of a quest. It's just I've not done Egda's Roos, whatever it's called, which means I don't have the trolling teleport yet. So I'm kind of having to run up and down here like a bloody madman all the time. So I'm going to hand this in, and that means we have literally just got the Curse of Arav to go, and then we can do Dimension of Disaster. I'm hoping I can get a bit of Slayer put in this video as well, because uh, I'm really enjoying Slayer at the moment. I actually feel deprived. 
of Slayer because I've not done any in a little while. Um, for the last couple of days, because yesterday I was doing quests for when I was on, but I wasn't on much because of my little brother's birthday. And then today I've just been doing quests, so I really want to get back into Slayer and get some clue scrolls done and just get some all-round decent loot. So, let's head up here. I kind of forgot this was such a long run, I wouldn't have started the recording so early, but still. Anyway, let's go up here and we'll go speak to Ugg, hand him whatever he needs, get the reward, and then we've got the Curse Vow to go. I don't know, I can't remember that quest too well. I think I do. It's the one with the strips, isn't it? The um, decoder strips and stuff. That was a little bit of a pain last time I did that because I did it when it came out, I think. But other than that, I've not done it for a little while, so we'll have to see about that. Anyway, let's open up this door right now. Speak to Ugg. Ugg, you better give us some good rewards. I don't know what the... I think you get a load of agility XP off this, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Come on, go talk to her for goodness sake. There we go. Yes, there we go. We finished that quest. Got a few gems as well, which is pretty nice. Anyway, I'm going to get on with Curse of Arif, and I'll see you guys once I've done that quest. Right, guys, I'm back now. I haven't really been on too much today. Well, I have, but I've just been doing some AFK sort of stuff and some Slayer and stuff. So, got ourselves 76 Slayer, which is awesome. I'm really hyped about that. It is one of the requirements for Fate of the Gods. Now, kill Musper and Nihil. I don't even know if I pronounce those right, but you know what? We don't care. Um... So, I've been doing a bit of Slayer, and I stopped doing the quests, because I need to get myself 66 Thieving, I think it is. And, um, Thieving is my least favourite skill. Honestly, I can't stand it. I know a lot of people like it because it's quick and whatnot, but no, I, I can't do it. I, I tried. Um, the way I'm going to be training it is at Pyramid Plunder. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, so don't flame me in the comments or whatever. Um, because the reason I'm doing that isn't because the XP is better, because it's not. Um, it's because... Coshing is so click intensive um, that it just absolutely finishes me off. I mean, uh, Pyramid Plunder isn't exactly AFK, but it's not as, you know, like clicky and stuff, so I kind of prefer it. But anyway, I thought I'd just join you guys. I got myself a gem bag because I was getting a lot of gems at task. Look at those rubies now, they're completely taken over. I must have got about 30 rubies off about 220 black demons or something so that was pretty cool but anyway i'm gonna go get us another task right now i thought you know what i'll show these guys me getting the task because why not also do you know what is on sunday which is tomorrow right today's saturday yes tomorrow to oh no i forgot my thing oh bastard what a waste of a charge i forgot my vip ticket um tomorrow is the barrows event and i'm really hyped to get on with that that's gonna be really good fun um i'm hoping a lot of you guys are gonna turn up to that um, I've, I'm not gonna put in all the details right now because there's a video up about it on the channel, so just go check that out. Um, it's got all the information you need. I'm hoping we get a lot of people there. It's gonna be really good, especially for Iron Men who need to finish off those sets but haven't really got any motivation. Um, maybe it's a bit more motivation because everyone's gonna be there. There's gonna be a load of Iron Men, hopefully, so it could be a really cool little event. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Anyway, now let's get back to him with our ticket. I always forget the ticket now, which is a real pain, but still, let's see. Get task, what's our task going to be? Oh, Avian Z's or Iron Drags. You know what, guys? I'm going to go Iron Drags. Um, because I've had them before, and I did pretty well with them. I enjoyed it, and uh, we can get ourselves another ring as well. And I kind of don't want to go anywhere near Avian Z's, because that's where Dave died. And um, he has no idea how he died there, so I'm kind of scared. So anyway, we're going to crack on with some of those drags now. Um, hopefully it's going to be successful. We might even get a Visage if we're lucky. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with that, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, guys, we've got ourselves a casket. Let's check what we get, and it's kind of nothing. Wow, that was horrific. Damn, I had a feeling we are going to get something good then. Anyway, oh, we've got some alcables. Anyway, I'll get back to my task right now, and hopefully we'll get ourselves some more clues. Right, guys, I finished off that task. I'm going to get another one right now. Let's see. What is our next assignment? Oh, um, I'll go with Abbey Specs. I think that's a pretty decent task. Yeah, we'll go with those, because they're good herbs. They're decent. Yeah, well, they're not really decent XP, but still. Anyway, I'm going to go crack on with those guys. Hopefully we get ourselves some more clues. I'm trying to do a lot of those at the moment, but still we'll see how it goes and I'll get back to you in a bit. Right guys, I finished off that task now. You can see my money pouch only says 300k. That's because I banked all of the money I had because I wanted to see how much I make off this. So I made 300k, which is pretty cool. You know what, I'm kind of tempted to go for the combat XP. Yeah, sorry, we've got the combat XP. Look, put that in strength or something. Yeah, because strength needs to go up. There we go. How close is that? Oh, that's not too far from level. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get myself another task now. So, the reason I banked all of my money was just to see how much I could make off each task. I know a lot of people do it, and I've been told to do it as well, so I've decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. So, got ourselves 300k off that task, which isn't too bad at this level. I mean, yeah, in, like, a few levels time with Slayer, it's going to be really bad, and people will be disappointed with that much money. But for now, with the amount of money I've got, I'm pretty happy with that. So, now if I deposit that... 
we've now got ourselves 2.8 mil, which is pretty cool. So, what I'm going to do is bank all of this, and I'm going to go get myself another task and see what it is. Right, guys, let's go. Um, where's my ring? It's over here, look. Uh, there we are. Oh, no! Bloody wrong one. Oh, I can't go to him anyway. There we go. So, um, also, guys, I've put up a room labs idea, and I mentioned this in another video, and it was about getting the having, like, a toggle option for the uh, loot beam. To wait, and I'll go into it once I've got a task. Let's see, what tasks? Oh, jungle strikes. Yes, I'm happy with that. That's a good task because we can try to get ourselves a hex crest. It is a hex crest day drop, isn't it? Yeah. So just before I go on with that, I want to explain my little Rune Labs idea. And I'm, I'm hoping it'll pass, but Rune Labs is so full of spam nowadays that um, the chances of my thing being seen are pretty much, like, zero. So I thought I'd mention it on here. There's going to be a link in the description as well, guys, in case you want to check it out. But basically, it's loot beams. Now, um... At the moment, you, they're, like, set on, um, like, value. So, I've got mine at 100k, I think, and I keep it at that because I don't want, like, crap things at 50k because what's the point? So, um, I set it at uh, 100k, and things like dark bows and uh, whips aren't worth that much money, so they won't loot beam. But I think it would be really nice if they would loot beam, so you could get... You, there's a toggle option with the loot beam where you can um, set it to loot beam for like unique rare items of course not like random things um or just rare items but they have to be like unique things like you know whips and dark bows and whatnot and whip vines and all that um i just think it'll be really cool to see um i know a lot of people won't want it and a lot of people might want it so like it should be a toggled thing but anyway that's all i'm gonna say about it if you w want some more information i've written it up on room labs link in the description so let me know what you think about that i'd be really cool if some people could support me with that just because i i'd love to see that pass um just because i think it would make slayer a lot more interesting for me because uh, i don't set my loot beam at 50k i set it at 100k and i know a lot of other people do as well so i'm gonna get on with this task as well and i'll see you guys in a little bit Right guys, I thought I'd come back to you now because I've just gone and done another clue scroll. I had one to do and I kind of already did it without you guys. And we got nothing. We got three not skipping tickets, so it was worth 500k the clue. But we didn't actually get anything that was worth having. So, let me just bank some of this stuff so we got some room. Bank, bank, and bank. And let's open this. We've got a reroll as well in case this is shit. And it was shit, so thank god we've got ourselves a reroll. 59k, that is an awful clue. See, oh, that's not... Hey, we got an Ancient Cloak. You know what, guys? I'm happy with that. That is something to add to the list of things that we have got now. So, if we chuck that in, I know it wasn't worth a lot, but I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that because, as you can see at the top, guys, we have got ourselves a little collection going on, and I'm really enjoying the sort of collecting everything. I mean, I'm not going to be collecting these composite bows, I don't think, because they're kind of shitty. Um, can you make them? I don't know. If you can't make them, maybe I'll keep them, but still. Anyway... I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys, because it's currently 5 past 11. I normally wrap these up at around about 10 after 10, so I've got time to edit and upload for the rest of the day. But, unfortunately, I probably won't get this up until probably 1 in the morning. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. All that good stuff. If you're new or you just haven't got around to it yet, hit that subscribe button. You don't miss any more videos. Also, before I go, um, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow from 7 up until 11 at Barrows. I'm going to be going ham on that shit. I uh, did, in fact, want to get my um, farming up so I could get the Draken's Medallion from the quest, whatever it's called. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really work out, so we won't be doing that. So I'll have to do it the slower method, but I'm still going to be doing a lot. So, guys, yes, that is going to be happening tomorrow. The Barrows event is tomorrow, so I'm hoping that you guys will join me and the rest of the clan and everyone else who turns up. Because I think it could be a really fun little event. A lot of people make a lot of money. A lot of people will get the stuff on the Iron Man that they need to finish off some sets. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Right, guys, sorry I've not been talking much. In the clan, we've set up a little, um, I forget, it's like a team speak similar to camera. Right, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be out tonight. Um, I was going to have two uploads for you guys, and this is kind of the second one, unfortunately. I know that's a pain.